Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 5 talking about ML functional performance matrices and so far we have covered all the topics which are 5 topics of this chapter. It's time for us to quickly look at some sample questions to gain some understanding about what exactly could be the possible ways the questions can be asked to you. All right, the very first question what we have is about confusion matrix, which was the very first topic what we discussed in our syllabus here. Uh, number one, the confusion matrix for an image classifier is being shown here in the table, which consists of all the informations and um, actual positive, actual negative, predicted positive and predicted negative. Uh, which of the following option represents the precision of the classifier? It, it simply means that these are very straightforward questions. All you have to remember is the formulae for different measurement uh, parameters of the confusion matrix, which includes accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. And uh, one among them is, of course, uh, the precision, which we are referring to. And the formula for the precision, if you remember, if not, go back to 5.1 and that would help you to do that. But right here, uh, the formula for the precision stands for TP, which is true positive, divided by true positive plus false positive, and overall thing multiplied by 100, right? So when we talk about true positive here, which is 78, and true positive plus false positive is 78 plus 22. So 78 divided by 78 plus 22, which of course comes back to, you know, altogether as the option C. Right, that's very straightforward. In fact, we did not even take much time. All you have to fit in into is the formula there and uh, we need to bring up the absolute answer from there. So we have different opinions here. If you could see, we got 20 divided by 120, 78 divided by 120, 78 by 100, uh, 22 by 100. So all we have to remember is precisely the right formula to pick up the right answer. So the right answer here is C, 78 by 100 multiplied by 100 will give you the outcome for precision, okay, which is, of course, 78%. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next question what we have here is, again, very straightforward. Uh, moreover, it's given like a scenario and you have to pick a very straightforward answer for that. So question number two is thermal space is a solution provider that helps thermal power plants to optimize their power output. Their solution is based on ML model created using past data with clearly marked outputs. The model helps determine the amount of electricity to be generated at a given time of the day to determine the quality of the model using ML functional performance matrix, which of the following matrix is most likely to be used. I think again, uh, being very, very uh, kind of like uh, straightforward, we are trying to recall the different matrices, what we have covered in past, and we are just trying to be assured that what exactly does it take to decide on any particular scenario that how exactly uh, we will go ahead with picking up the right answer and then be sure about it. See, picking up the right answer is not a big deal, but making sure that the answer what we have picked is of course, uh, the most appropriate answer and currently if you see we have few options with us here number one is r squared we have precision we have recall and false positives now there are certainly you know classifications what we have discussed in our previous segment and we tried understanding where exactly what does fall so r squared of course is a supervised regression problem uh, because the model output a continuous value the amount of electricity to be generated, which uses the R squared or MSE or RMSE matrix. So that was straightforward from the uh, technique what we picked up from there. And certainly for the other items like precision recall, they are more of like confusion matrices which do measure that. And uh, when it comes to the consideration of the categorizations, they do not fall under uh, that particular consideration to take into account that what exactly would be the right and appropriate supervised classification matrix. So anyways, uh, we talk about the false uh, uh, positive. Sorry, what is that uh, here? We got the false positive exactly. So false positive option is uh, one of the you know, parameter in the confusion matrix. So that cannot be 
the performance matrix as such because performance matrices are recall precision r squared f1 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 score and etc but not false positive so you can sometime look forward to quickly eliminate few of them and that would help you to minimize your effort in terms of picking up the right one so in this further discussion supervised regression matrices are something which is classified as mse which is mean square error or r squared which is also known as coefficient of determination so being very straightforward uh, the right answer here is r squared which certainly means that this is something which i would need in this particular situation as the situation here is about it is a supervised regression system and of course for supervised regression we have the solutions as uh, the mse or r squared are the two different options which we can certainly take or make use of other than that things are in different categories like classification matrix or it is a part of unsupervised cluster matrix whereas other two which is uh, recall etc is a certainly part of the other parameter that is classification matrix uh, sorry confusion matrix so anyways uh, that was quick one because that's a very short chapter so we had just two sample questions for you to understand but all we understand from here is it's going to be a very very straightforward to the point questions which will be coming into consideration and uh, we just want you to be sure that how exactly be precise with the formula and being having the understanding of the classification anyways that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning